When I look back on my breast cancer diagnosis and treatment, I'm in awe of the new technology and science that have transformed outcomes for breast cancer patients. Since 1980, the five-year survival rate for breast cancer has risen to about 90%. This year, Exact Sciences is celebrating the 20th anniversary of the Oncotype DX Breast Recurrence Score Test. And to help celebrate, we're featuring the very first patient to use the Oncotype test. When I was 52, I found out that I had breast cancer. It was like a surreal moment. You're thinking I'm healthy, I eat right, so how could this be happening? I spoke with three different doctors and they all told me that I had to go on chemotherapy and I didn't want that in my body. I asked one of the doctors, is there any way that I can avoid this? And that's when my husband saw something in the Wall Street Journal. There was a new test to tell you whether or not chemo is even going to help you. I started practicing medicine in the 1990s. At that time, the vast majority of women were offered chemotherapy if they had breast cancer. What we've realized is that not all breast cancer was the same. Some breast cancer was estrogen receptor positive. What was really exciting in the 1990s was the discovery of tamoxifen to be able to block the ability of estrogen to bind and cause a cancer cell to grow. It really was the beginning of a brand new class of therapies called endocrine therapy, the huge first step forward in the advent of targeted therapy. The next step in the battle against the breast cancer cell was the HER2 receptor. And there was a very important drug that targeted that receptor called Herceptin. Breast cancer then essentially became broken into three different types, estrogen receptor positive, HER2 positive, or breast cancer that didn't have either of those markers, what we called triple negative breast cancer. In the course of the 90s, there was the recognition though, why can't we find a biomarker that like the estrogen receptor or like the HER2 receptor might better identify women who would benefit from chemo? We developed the Oncotype breast cancer test. It enabled testing of women to identify a minority of patients who are likely going to benefit from chemo. This was a game changer. Oncotype DX uses the patient's tumor. We measure genes from that tumor and create a score known as the recurrence score from zero to 100. The higher the score, the greater the likelihood that the cancer will return. I was the first person to have the test. My Oncotype DX test score was under 25, which was low and meant that I would have a very small chance of recurrence and wouldn't benefit from chemotherapy. because of the mapping of the human genome in the early 2000s, we finally understood how many genes does a human have? How many of those genes are associated with the risk of developing breast cancer? The mapping of the human genome is also enabling a whole new generation of technologies. One of these is called molecular residual disease, or MRD. This involves sequencing a patient's tumor to look for mutations. And then after the patients had surgery, testing their blood to look for the presence of genes with those mutations. When I started my career, there were only two targeted therapies. Now we have over 100. We have genetic and genomic testing and the future looks very promising. My whole view of cancer, it has completely changed. I was one of those people 20 years ago that thought that everybody that had cancer was going to die. And since then, I see so many people that are going on with their lives, getting treated, and I wanted to share that with other women. This test was amazing because using DNA, RNA, I knew was more specific. And I wanted to have a treatment that wasn't just going to try to kill a fly on the wall with a cannon. It let me choose what I wanted to do with my life, and I decided I wanted to live. Had I had to go through chemotherapy, then I would have lost my practice as a podiatrist. And the thing most precious to me is spending time with my dad 
this last year of life, which I wouldn't have been able to do if I was on chemotherapy. It's been 20 years since I had the test, and I'm still cancer-free. Over 1.7 million women with breast cancer have received a recurrent score result. What's really exciting is 85% of them, more than a million women, have been able to forego chemotherapy with the use of this test. And it continues to be the standard of care.